Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you all here with me today. So yesterday I did a poll on my community tab giving you guys four suggestions of what I would work on today. And you guys chose to do more postcards, which I'm so excited about because that's what I wanted to do. So last night I spent some time cutting up these fall images from Keeley's book, which let me show you here. Got my fussy cutting basket here. This book, Autumn Pictures to Cut Out and Collage. I did a flip through of this um, Monday. Yeah. And so I cut out some images. I didn't get a ton done. I wasn't feeling great yesterday. So um, I didn't get too, too much done. But I did get, I mean, I got all of these. So that's not bad, right? Like that's quite a bit. Um, there's a few in here from Poor Toast and Kate Curry's book from before, but not very many. I only had like four left. So I'm going to pull all these out because I have some ideas for these. Now, last time I sent these, or I last time I made postcards, I sent them all out. So I sent four out on Monday. And the ones I make today, I'm going to send to um, some glue crew members. So let's get started. Now this first one I have in mind, she's totally gonna know I'm making this for her. I know it, I just know it. Okay, here we go. So I want to use this because I think it's really pretty. Really, really pretty. Now how do I wanna do this? Do I wanna use, and then like this? Okay, I'm just gonna start gluing and then I'm just gonna, see how it goes. Oh man, I have just been having a time lately. I'm so behind. I'm behind on comments. I'm behind on my emails. I'm behind on life. <laughs> I'm just like, you know, it's really hard when you have an illness that causes you to be so fatigued all the time because there's only so much I can do in a day. And my mind wants to do stuff. It really does. But my body's like, nah, girl, that's not happening. And it's very frustrating. And people are really hard on me, really hard on me if I don't get back to them right away or I don't do what they want. You know, they just get upset. And it, I know that's not my fault, but, you know, I have anxiety. And so it <laughs> makes me not be able to sleep at night. And I've been really struggling to sleep because of that. And I'm just going through it, man. I really am. I need people to be nice. Ease up on me, man. I'm only one person. Okay, so let's cut this off real quick. That way I can use the other piece if I want to. Just take that little bit off and then this piece I will save and use probably on the same postcard. We'll see. Oh no, I cut the postcard a little bit. I hate it when that happens. There we go. Okay, looking good. Then Let's see, I'm going to turn that upside down. I will keep this little strip too. Sometimes you just never know. Like when I'm working, normally I wouldn't keep this strip, but sometimes I keep them while I'm in the moment because sometimes you just never know if you need like that little tiny filler. Um, all right, so then there was, where was the, there was another one I was thinking about using. I really liked this bright color because I'm going to use it with this. I thought it would look really cool. Okay, so maybe like, ah, I just don't like that. Let me see here. Oh yeah, I have some mushroom stuff too. Thought that might be neat as well. Sorry, I'm just, these are double-sided papers. So I'm kind of looking at the front and the back of these. So let's maybe add that there. Okay. So I just cut these in, uh, papers into random squares and rectangles. This time I will say I kept them, um, Sorry, I just want to see what I'm cutting off here. I don't like to glue on the part that I'm not using if I don't have to. Um, I, this time I cut them a little bit bigger. I wanted to use some bigger squares instead of making my uh, collage on the card with so many smaller pieces. Oh, that's crooked. Let's make it straight. There we go. I think maybe I cut it crooked. There we go. Oh, I see a little bubble. Yeah, look at that. So satisfying when you smooth that glue out. Okay, let's cut that piece off. 
I love sending out postcards. Oh my gosh. I love it. I think I'll put a post in my um, glue crew, your guys' member tab. And if you guys want me to send you a a postcard, you guys can put your address in there because only we see it. Only the members. Other people don't see that. Okay. I really wanted to use like this mushroom, but I don't know. Maybe I can cut a little bit off of it. Let's cut it just a little bit here so I can get rid of some of that black on the top. Let's see. Is that enough? Not quite. Let's just cut a little bit of the bottom off. I love this trimmer. Somebody in my Facebook group the other day said they hated this trimmer and I was so blown away by that. I absolutely love it. It works amazing. It's one of my favorite craft tools. So I was really shocked by that, but it's true. Not everything, what works for one does not always work for another. That's very true. I've just never heard anybody say anything bad about it. So I was really surprised. I wonder if maybe hers was a defective one or something. But maybe it just doesn't work for her, and that's okay, too. That is okay, too. In fact, somebody posted the other day in my group about a glue, and I hate that glue. I never put negative things down in my group, but I did say that I hate that glue. It's true. I hate it. Um, but a lot of people love it. It's a popular glue, so it's crazy. It's so true how what works for one does not work for another. Ooh, will this fit right here? <gasps> oh, my gosh. It's kismet. It's meant to be. Why when that happens? Oh no! Oh yeah, no, I want to go this way. Okay. <laughs> For a second I thought I glued on the wrong side. I mean it would have been fine, whatever. There we go. Okay, where's my little scrapey scrapey weepy? There we go. Give it a little smush. Oh, it wouldn't have been fine if I did the wrong side, because then that would have been in the same pattern. That would not be good. Okay. Now the fun part. Let's decorate. So I think I want to put that there. Oh no, I need to cut out the peace signs. Shoot, sorry guys. I forgot when I was cutting at night, I can't, because I'm sitting in my recliner, <laughs> resting, I can't cut the inside parts out. So let's cut those out real fast here. And then my husband, let me, let me grab it real quick. I couldn't see very well, so he gave me his Milwaukee headlamp. <laughs> so that's what I was using to see last night when I was fussy cutting. I mean, I had lights on in the house and stuff, but you know, you need bright light when you're fussy cutting. You just really do. So there I was and <laughs> a little light Jackson comes out and he's like, what the heck? I'm like, don't judge me. All right, there's that. It's sticking to my finger. Whoop. So a lot of people wanted me to work on big random today. I'm surprised by that because the last time I did random gluing, it wasn't a favorite when, you know, like according to my, my numbers and stuff. So that's why I haven't done it because I don't know. My numbers say otherwise, but if people want it, I'll do it because I love it. I love the members that are like, or my subscribers are like, dude, this is your channel. Do what you want. And I love that. And I need that reminder. But, you know, I want to know what you guys want too. you know, like, I don't want to do something I don't want to do because then like, there's no joy in it and you that will come through. You know what I mean? But I like doing lots of different crafts. So that's why I'm always changing up. But you will notice that when I get really into something, that's all I want to do. <laughs> But I get over it and I'll move on. So just stay with me if it's something you don't like. Because um, I like to do lots of different crafts. Okay, that's not the best job I've ever done. But I think it'll work. Okay, so let's put that like that. What else do I want to use? Oh, I wanted to use a butterfly. Oh, I cut one out specifically. Where'd it go? Where'd all my little butterflies go here? Oh, here we are. Oh, here it is. Look at this one. It's perfect. Isn't it? Okay, so I have that. And I was thinking I could put like this little peace sign here. 
and a little butterfly. I was thinking I could like intertwine the two, but I think I'll just do something to that effect. Hmm. Now that I'm looking at it, I don't know if I like that. Maybe I want these all more to be more connected, like. I think I might do some, something to that effect. Okay. Um, okay, I just wanna make sure I had it go in the right direction. So let's glue the van. The little hippie van. Let's just put that right there. Oh wait, uh oh, I didn't mean to press that down, it's just habit. I need to lift that up just a little bit because I need to put my peace sign behind it. Oh my gosh, gluing the peace sign, I hate gluing pieces where there's little holes missing because like my glue stick always, ah, and I just did it. <laughs> I was trying to avoid it. Your glue stick gets like stuck in the little hole. See, now I have a glob of glue right there. Get out of there. Let's do, ah, it's all sticky now, gross. Okay, stinking glue stick. All right, let's glue this down. What's this? It'll go away. All right, there we go, go. Now I need to glue my little, or should I put my butterfly like this? Or up here? I feel like it should go this way. No, yes. Does it look better this way? I don't know. Ah, no, no, I'm, I'm getting in my own head. I don't know. <laughs> See, when I'm not making something for somebody, I get a little bit better about like my choices. But then I start making something for someone and I start second guessing everything. Okay, there we go. So that's cute. Now I need some words. So let's grab these. Now I want some bright colors. I want this teal. There was some purple. Gag me. Um, <laughs> you guys know I'm not, I'm joking. I, purple starting to, you know, oh here, I love this one. This is the first one I saw and this is exactly what I want. It says, say yes to new adventures. That is amazing. I think that is perfect for this. So let's just put that down. Oops, and I didn't add glue to it. That's okay. I think it'll be fine. These stickers are pretty sticky. I think it's crooked. <sighs> oh crap, now I just ruined it. Okay, hold on, we'll just leave it. There's perfection and in imperfection. Okay, so say yes to new adventures. Let's grab a teal. And let's see. Uh, may your day be full of sunshine. I love that. Let's cut it though. So we can have, actually, should I have it? I need something up in this corner. Do I want to put this all the way? Maybe I will just put the whole thing. I was going to break it up, but I don't think I will. And that's actually really cute. But I do want something up here. What should I add? Let's see. Do I have, I mean, I could add another butterfly. I could add more than one. I love that. Okay, I'm going to do it. Plus, I love butterflies, so I feel like that's a little part of me. Saying, hello, this is for me, butterflies. Okay. Fun fact, I have one tattoo, and it's... A butterfly I would get more but ugh, they're expensive I do have a friend I grew up with that's a tattoo artist he's really good actually, I actually have two uh, one owns their own business pretty prominent tattoo place in Portland too um, there we go sorry I know that's really loud but my hands are really weak so I have to use the table there we go Okay, that looks stinking adorable. I'm in love. So for this one, I've been going around them in brown, but I want to go around this one in teal because I like it. 
Ooh, this might be one of my favorite ones. This is super cute. Probably because it's full of color and I love color. So my next set, I probably won't do fall related postcards. I might do like something else. Um, and I am going to be doing a happy mail video this weekend. So if you have sent me happy mail, I just went to my post office box. I'll go again before, um, or, you know, before I do the video and double check, but I have gone. So I do have packages here. Okay. That is so cute. I love that. I feel like I need to press this down, down here. Like I didn't, is it lifting? Oh no. We have liftage. Sound the glue alarm. I could just leave it, but I'm anal. Here we go. Get in there. There we go. Okay. I probably should have just left that. But, you know, whatever. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I love that. Okay, so let's put this one aside. Next, I'm going to put... I'm going to get a new glue stick. I just messed that one all up. I'll put that with my ones that are almost done that I want to use. Okay, so let's move these out of the way. And let's go on to our next one. So the next one I want to use, um, so I thought she would be cute with like this, you know, little cup of coffee or something like that. I just think that's so cute. Okay. And then where is, okay, so I have these little cats. So the cat one I really wanted to use too. So maybe I'll do that one first. Okay talking in my head. Well, I'm talking to everybody, but. Ooh, the sun just came out. It's been really rainy. Yesterday, oh my gosh, I had to pick up Jackson and I got stuck in the rain because I had to go in to get him. And oh my gosh, I looked like a drowned rat. <sighs> okay. Do I want to use that? Do I think that would look cute with this? Yes. Okay. I'm just making the decision. It's happening. Oh, I love a brand new glue stick. Mm, so satisfying. All right. Let's get you up there. Get up in there in the corner. Ugh, okay. And what else do I want to use? These postcards are so fun. If you got a postcard for me, I don't know if I said this already, but, and you're in my Facebook group, let me know that you got it or just message me or something. If you don't want to post, um, you don't have to post a picture or anything. I'm not, you know, making you do that or asking you to do that. I guess I should say, um, I mean, obviously you can, if you want, but I'm just saying, I just want to know that you got it. Cause this is the first time I've sent them with the plastic on it. Okay. There we go. Perfect. I might have to cover up some of that paper. I think I'm going to cover that up just a little bit, just to add a little bit more color. Oh, I stuck this right on the glue. Let's move this over a little bit. Okay. Maybe like, like that. Okay. Ah, it's sticking on my table. Gross. Here we go. I'm just going to leave this upside down over here to dry, and then I can use it again if I need to. Okay. Now, which one do I want to use? a little small. No. Oh, this one's pretty. Will this fit? Oh, it fits perfect. <gasps> Love it when a plan comes together. Okay, that's happening. And we're gluing. Holy sun. 
That's so nice to see. It's very bright all of a sudden. Ah. Boop. There we go. Oh, this is going to be so cute. Oh, do I want to use this right here? No. I'll save that. Put that upside down. Maybe this little maroon piece. That fits nice. Let's do that. All right. Here we go. And smushy, smush, smush. And trim. Boop. Super cute. Let's put that over there to dry. Okay, so do I need to go around the edges anywhere? Yes, right here. I had a feeling. There we go. Okay. All right, so now I want to use this little kitty. I want to put the kitty here. And then I wanted to see if this little banner would fit because I just think it's so stinking cute. I could do the banner and then the kitty on top of the banner. Oh my gosh, yes, it's happening. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about cutting out these little spots inside of there. That's just too tedious. Um, I am going to use my art glitter glue for this simply because I just don't want to risk ripping it because of the fine little bits and bobs here. So... I'll just tack it down with just a tiny bit of my art glitter glue here. Because I just know I would rip this thing. It's super easy to accidentally rip these. Another reason why I love this glue, I love this fine tip. You can just put a little bit tiny on here. Okay. Woo, this thing is fragile. Ah, crap. Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, I just, I want to bring this up just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to turn this over to press it down. That way I don't risk ripping it, tearing it, smushing it. You know what I mean? So if you go on the other side, you can get kind of aggressive with it and not have to worry about it. Uh, ripping. Okay, well, that is adorable, if I do say so myself. Okay, so let's put my cute little kitty here. Sounds like a street racer out there. Did you hear that? Jeez. You guys, I made like 150 chicken nuggets this past weekend. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Uh, Andrew made his homemade tater tots and then Bob got, um, like a big pack of chicken breasts that was on sale and I chopped them up into little chunks and I make chicken nuggets that are very, very similar to Chick-fil-A. Um, and they were amazing. They were so good. Should I put this like little pile of wood here? What else do I want? Or do I want... Do I have a smaller pumpkin? I do not. Hmm. I don't think I want the wood. Ooh, maybe some little pumpkins. Oh, that's cute. Let's do some little pumpkins. That's adorable. Okay, fingers crossed. I do not rip off the stems. Okay, stem number one is good. And number two, yes. The crafty gods are on my side today. There we go. Press. Smushy smush. Oh, that is stinking adorable. Okay, so let's find some words. First, I have to put a... Sorry, I, I'm just one of those people. I have to, like, clean as I go. Okay, so let's grab some words here. Um, Let's go with some... Okay, I like these colors. Maybe some greens. I don't use the tans very much. I'm kind of surprised. So let's look at those two. I guess I look for the pop of color. Okay, so maybe I should go with green. Oh, I like this one. May your day be full of sunshine. That's really cute. I mean, I could just put that right in the middle. And I think that's what I'm going to do. That's so unlike me. May your day be full of sunshine. I like this one. Live, create, tell the story. I 
actually I'm going to cut this in half. That way it takes up more real estate. I like that. Okay. I want to put this right here. Oh no, is that crooked? Oh, it's so crooked. You know what? Forget it. Life isn't perfect. My words aren't going to be perfect. I'm not going to put that pressure on myself. It's okay. All right, here we go. Live, create, tell the story. Adventure awaits you. Do I want to put another? Wow, I'm just all about these words today. This reminds me of my other postcards, my grid ones, where <laughs> I just kept putting words everywhere. I just like it. I like the positive affirmations and stuff. Adventure awaits you. Oops, not even close. There we go. Okay. May your day be full of sunshine. <gasps> Ooh, may your day be full of sunshine. I'm going to put this one offset. Oops, too crooked. There we go. May your day be full of sunshine. Choose to shine. Live, create, tell the story. Adventure awaits you. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. I already know who I'm sending this one to as well. Okay, so let's go around the edges. Ooh, I'm cranking these out today. This is great. I love that I had, like, as I was cutting these out... I was creating these little stories in my head. So I already knew, like, I wanted to use this and this. So as I kept cutting, I, I knew what I wanted to use. Um, at least with these two. These are the two that came to mind. Well, and that coffee one, too. So Does that happen to you, too, when you're fussy cutting? Do you see stuff and you're like, ooh, this would be great with this. And then what if I did this and then this? Do you guys think that way as well? The other day in my glue crew, I posted something and, oh, it was last weekend. And <laughs> it was a rainy day and everybody started posting that they were fussy cutting. <laughs> so like we were all just, it was Sunday, actually. It was just like the fussy cut day. Everybody was relaxing and fussy cutting. That is stinking adorable. I love it. Oh, I love it. I'm so glad she put a banner in her book because I love those. Okay, so let's do one more. Let's do my, maybe my coffee girl. I also have this girl. She's really cute too. I really liked her. And for her, I thought um, I specifically cut out these flowers because I thought I could like intertwine or something. I don't know. I just felt like these flowers went with her. So, okay. Oh, and I cut out a bunch of these leaves from Keeley's book. I love these. I love these a lot. Okay. Oh, and an acorn. Ooh, and this one, that one was really pretty too. Oh yeah, and I forgot I had this where it says cozy and content. Or I could go like that. I don't know. Okay, so, oh, and I have this kitty too. This one I was unsure. So here's the thing. I get a lot of comments about fussy cutting and what do you do with all the little bits? There's two things I could do here. One, I could just cut these out, these little bits here, and then fussy cut them and add them separately. Or you can leave some white like I did here. I chose to leave it like this for now and then I can decide later. But with the little bits, they're kind of there just to enhance the image for you. You don't have to cut out every little bit that's on your image. So totally feel free to cut these off right here. And if you want to use them, you can fussy cut those and add them to the picture like they are already on there. So just wanted to throw that out there for you. Okay, so let's add I need a clean magazine page here. I was thinking I want to make my nephews. Oops, sorry, that was loud. I want to send like my nephews um, some little cards like I think that would be fun who doesn't love getting snail mail right especially when you're a kid this day and age it hardly ever happens my aunt who passed away about 10 years ago um she was very artistic really she was amazing uh she would send my kids my boys um mail and they absolutely loved it so I kind of want to keep her tradition going, you know? I think I'll go like this. 
Well, I didn't cut that one straight. That's what happens when you're watching a documentary and cutting paper at the same time. <laughs> Whoopsie. That's fine. You can always glue over the top of it. When in doubt, glue it out. Okay. And, oh, here, I have all these. See, this is why I keep my little bits. Will this fit here? <gasps> like a glove. Perfect. Happening. It's happening. Okay. Put that on there. There's my little smushy smush. Okay. And let's do some more. There's some here I haven't used. Ooh, I like this. Does that fit right here? It does. There's something so satisfying about putting a piece down and having it fit perfectly. <clears throat> Dang, that's good. Love it. And yes, I do get that excited about my paper fitting. <laughs> Listen, if you love paper, you get it. You get what I'm talking about. Come on. All right, there we go. And let's see, I need to flip my page, I think. No, I don't. Okay, um, so I just used that one, so I don't want to use it again. What's this? No. I need a few. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, gosh, I love it. It fits. <laughs> it's a little off, but the size fits nonetheless. I can just cut off that little piece of the bottom, but the width is perfect. Ah. I'm going to be better about keeping my little sponge. Um, Heather, one of my glue crew members uh, earlier in the year, had suggested that I keep a, a little wet sponge in like a bowl or something that I can wipe my fingers off of with, when I have glue on them. And it works so good. And I did it for a long time, and now I'm just lazy and I don't, I don't get my sponge wet. I should just keep a little bottle of water in here just for that purpose because I get in here and I'm working and I don't want to stop to go get water or wash my hands. <laughs> Who does that when you're creating art? Not me, which is funny. You think I would. I mean, if I have to get up, like I have to let a dog out or something, I will wash my hands a hundred percent. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, this one I'm just gonna cut because that'll make my life easier. Um. Let's go this way. Okay. Oops. Why does this look so... There we go. All right. Squishing. Cutting. Ooh. I need to fix that. Hold on. There we go. That's why I always push my papers down after I cut them because, see, my scissors lifted that piece up a little bit. Now I had to smush it back down. Okay, so while I'm deciding what I want to put on there, I'm going to put a glue stick or a lid on my glue stick. So I have Miss Cozy Girl here, and I could put Cozy and Content. I also really love this. I just, it speaks to me. I really like it. And I was thinking I could put like, No, I don't like that one. Okay, so it could go like this, and then I could add Maybe I go like this, put this here, and her like this. I could have it go more over. that. 
Is that too much? I don't know. Okay, so I have this like this. And then her like this. Oh, she's adorable. Oh gosh, she's so cute. She's probably drinking a little pumpkin spice. Maybe a hot cocoa. Oh, wait, I wanted to put this behind her, didn't I? Eh, eh. Fingernail coming in hot. There we go. Let me glue this. Ooh, I'm going to use my art glitter glue for this one too, just because it's got these little tiny things, just like the banner. And I do not want to mess it up. Especially something that's so time consuming to cut. You know what I mean? The last thing you want to do is ruin it by ripping it apart. Trying to glue it. Okay. <laughs> there we go. And then did I have... I had this like... Oh, that's not how I had it. I want it more... Okay, you know what? I'm just putting it down. Whatever. It's happening. Turn it over. Cut this part off. Ooh, this is my favorite part. Ah, oh, so satisfying. Okay. Like that. And then... Maybe I'll just do that. Okay. Crazy how you can have an idea and then as you're gluing, different things end up coming to mind. You know what I mean? There we go. The butterfly going that way. Maybe I could put like a little acorn there. No, oh, I like it. I'm just going to leave that. I should probably go that way. I'm just going to add the acorn. I'm hesitant about it, but I'm just going to go for it. We'll just put it like that. Yeah, I'm just going for it. Okay, so let me go around the edges real quick. Flip this little baddie. I want to trim over here. I saw some overhang right here. It is just minuscule, but listen, this is how my brain works. I have to get it off. Makes me feel better. Okay. Let's ink, and then we will add, oh no, I need to add my words first, because then I'll ink. Okay, words, words. I think this is a good color. Let's see if I can find something I like here. Oh, I love, I love this. Okay, life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. I love that. Okay, I think I wanna go about right here. It's a little, little wobbly, but that's okay. Life isn't perfect. Neither did my words. It's okay. There we go. Okay. Life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. Live your dreams with passion. That's cute. I like that. Maybe I'll just kind of have it floating. Live your Live your dream with passion. Life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. That's cute. Okay. Whew, that one stressed me out just a little bit, but I like the way it turned out. So let's ink it. Oh gosh, my hands. So let's glue this, or I'm sorry, ink it. Inking, we are inking. Oh, so cute. Thank you guys for picking postcards. This is really fun and I love sending them to you. It's so fun. Plus with international shipping, because the international shipping is so expensive. Oh my gosh, it's outrageously expensive. Sending a postcard is super easy. So that's fun and really inexpensive, so. That is cute. Ah, oh, I love it. Okay, so let me get my papers out of the way here. Let me clean up and I will be right back. All right, everyone. So these are the three postcards I made today. I will put pictures at the end of this video. 
so you can see better. The first two here, I already know who I'm sending. This one, I'm not sure yet. So yeah, I had a lot of fun making these. So let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite. I'm curious. I'm just curious which one you guys like the best. All right, everyone, that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having your patience with me and getting back to you with emails and comments. Just know that I love you guys and I appreciate you contacting me and leaving me comments on my videos so much. You have no idea. Sometimes all I have to give is a little heart, but if I heart your comment, that means I've seen it and I really appreciate it so much, you guys. If you wouldn't mind, please hit that like button. It helps me out more than you know, and it's a great way to support me and my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, friends.